All right, today what we're going to do is we are going to reenact protein synthesis and how they are made inside the cell. So if you look right here, I have in front of me a cell. And if we look up here, here is all the little characters that I'm going to use in this process. So first what we're going to do is we have to um, recall that inside some cells they will have a nucleus. And the nucleus is very important because inside here it has your genetic material. And if you recall your genetic material, is going to be your DNA. So we're going to take your DNA right here. It's a double helix. There's two strands. And if you remember, um, your DNA, uh, the, the way that they pair together is you have A goes to T and G goes to C. Now this first process in making proteins is called transcription. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab transcription and put it right down here so I can see it as I'm going along. And what happens during this process is that your DNA is going to unwind, whoop, and as it unwinds, it's going to create this um, RNA. Um, this RNA is actually called messenger RNA, starts with an M, and we're creating this message. This message is important because this is going to, we're going to use this, the message that it got from DNA, to create protein. So this will be created from um, using DNA as a template. And you can see right here that in this case we don't have T. So anytime you have RNA, you never, never, never have T. So A is going to go with U and G is going to go with C. So all the places there would have been T's, so there are U's. So now that we've created our messenger RNA, your DNA can go ahead and um, close back up. Whoop. And now we have our messenger RNA. Whoa, messing up my little DNA there. There we go. So now we have our messenger RNA. And the next um, process, um, since there's two processes involved in making proteins, um, happens out. This guy, what it's going to do is he's going to leave, and he's going to hook up with a ribosome. So he's going to leave woo, wherever he finds a ribosome. Sometimes, if you recall, they're attached to the um, rough endoplasmic reticulum, and sometimes they're floating out in the cytoplasm. So now that we've made it out to a ribosome, you can see on the back of my ribosome, I have R RNA, and I also wrote ribosome. And I want to go ahead and take this little character. We're going to stick him kind of right behind this guy, okay? And now that we're on our next process, we need to go ahead and label what this next process is called. So if you look right here, I'm going to grab this. Next process is called translation. And what happens during translation is messenger RNA hooks up with a ribosome. And what's going to happen is that you're going to have these um, nitrogen bases. And there's actually three right here, UCG. This is called a codon. And uh, we're going to have something called the anticodon that's going to come and um, drop off something that's very, very important for proteins. Because you remember, what makes up proteins? Well, what makes up proteins is called amino acids. So if we look right here, let's find out which ones would be connecting with it. So if you remember, um, U goes with A and uh, G to C. So right here, I'm going to be looking for A. G, C. So if you look up here, where do I find? Ah, where's my? Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, we got A, G, C. So this is your tRNA, and they are very important because your tRNA is going to come and transfer an amino acid. And remember, amino acids make up protein. So it's a whole bunch of these little amino acids that are going to eventually make a protein. So here he comes. He's going to do connect to messenger RNA because he carries the uh, anticodon, so he hooked up with the codon, and he's going to drop off his um, amino acid. So you can see, whoop, as he drops it off, um, it's right there, dropping off, perfect, awesome. And then the next part, what's going to happen is we're going to go to the next codon, and if you see right here, we have GUU, so we're going to be looking for um, G to C, so we need C, A, and A. So if we look up here, um, we need to find C, A, and A. Oh, here it is. So here comes my next tRNA, and he's going to whoop, hook up. And as he hooks up, he's going to drop his off his protein. And this guy already took off. And as he drops it off and he leaves, we're going to see that your protein's going to start to grow. So let's go ahead and start grabbing your protein coming out. Whoop. Oh, man, we're starting to make a protein. And then what happens is, is we got to do our last three letters, C, C, and A. So we're going to look for G, G, and U, which is my last here on our RNA coming in. So as he comes in and he hooks up, he's going to drop off 
his amino acid eventually all these amino acids make our protein so if we grab right here now what we created is eventually this growing pro this growing a uh, bunch of amino acids made a protein so now we have our proteins and that's how we make proteins whoa okay so <clears throat> now that you did this you can repeat the process you can repeat this blah, 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 all that good stuff but after you do this you can turn around and answer questions about how protein synthesis happens. So we'll talk about going over those characters again, what's tRNA, mRNA, and so forth. And um, if you have this, hopefully it's laminated. If it's laminated, you can just write on with a dry erase marker. But you should have a partner or your teacher to help guide you. And they have the answer. So if you do have a partner, they're going to be coaching you. They have the answers. Um, if not, a teacher has it, and they can help you as well. And if it's not laminated, you can go ahead and use a pen or pencil, um, and they'll probably be writing it in as well. So good luck on creating proteins. Woohoo!